everybody. Good morning, my beautiful people, all my lovely followers. So before I get started, I do want to say that I would love it if you would share this video, get my message out there, help me to just help share these messages and, and if they're touching your life to really just help and, and get them to be able to touch someone else's life as well. So that is not the topic of today though. So there is an interesting dynamic I'm noticing in my community right now. And when I say community, I mean my tribe, my followers, my clients, my consults, uh, even at times myself. And I'm seeing this, this dynamic and it is the skipping of what I call the sexy center. It is skipping the sexy center. So what I'm noticing is this year particularly, more than any other year in the past when I've worked with people, I'm noticing a lot of people that are wanting to, to have these big grand goals and that is amazing and I very much believe that we can manifest truly whatever we desire that if we want something we can call it in that it is available to us however however I also think there is a time and a place that we have to take action physical action in our day-to-day -day life we have to not prove to the universe, but we have to send out energy to the universe. And sometimes that energy is actually doing something. So what am I talking about? It's this, this concept of like, you know, that baby who is crawling or who is sitting and like they skip the crawling aspect and they want to just run. They're like, I'm just going to run. Well, they go and they skip the crawling bit. And actually, if you don't know much about the brain for a very long time when babies would do that because occasionally you'll find a child who doesn't crawl doctors would tell them to get on to have the parents get on their hands and knees with the kid to teach them to crawl because you actually miss cognitive development that is required now babies have such malleable brains it's been discovered now that that cognitive develop will catch cognitive development will catch up however you do miss some some really vital cognitive development if you skip that as a infant the same thing happens when we are adults and we try to skip over the yumminess so recently I've had several people who are like okay I want to you know have this big business I want to learn Tantra I want to you know start yoga all of these these beautiful goals or I want a million dollars and that's that's great it's I'm like you go you go like you can have it if you want it however then in the next breath they're like yeah but I don't want to take a yoga class I want to be a yoga teacher but I don't want to take a yoga class can I just be a yoga teacher and I'm like you know that might be an issue that might be an issue or you know, I, I want to, I want to have tantric sex with my partner. I get this one a lot. I want to have tantric sex with my partner. I want to learn to have like this deep tantric four hour sex with my partner, but I don't want to touch into my energy. I don't, I don't want to do any of that energy stuff. And I really don't want to have to get connected to self, but, but why can't you teach me tantra? Um, and like, that's the whole, that's the whole piece. Like you're, you're missing the entire thing. Or I want to start this business, but I don't want to actually put any work into it. Effort. I don't want to take any action. I don't want to rattle my own cage is really what they're saying to me. They're saying, I don't want to rattle my own cage. I don't want to have to put out any energy. I just want things to come to me like that. And, as the, and like I said, I do believe we can manifest such beauty and bliss in our life and that it is possible to call things in like that. And do I think that that you always must, you know, go through years of education or struggle or strain or stress to learn something? No, however, if you're not wanting to jump into the beauty and the yumminess of something, then you don't really actually want it. If you don't want to get in there and really start 
connecting with your partner and getting into the intimacy and doing the work. And yes, it is work. And I would love to say it's not work. I would love to sugarcoat this shit for you, but I can't. I can't. It is work, okay? And it doesn't always feel good, but it's always worth it. If it is something that is aligned, it feels good because it's worth it. It's not that it feels good always in that moment, but it feels good because you know you're making progress. You know you're putting yourself out there. You know you're being vulnerable. You know you're stepping in. That is how it feels good. And I want to say like, no, you you don't have to do any action. You don't have to take any, you know, steps forward in that way. You don't have to rattle your cage, but it's bullshit and I would be lying to you. You do have to put some energetic output into certain things. Now, most of that energetic output is in our own brains. It is our internal work. It is our vibrational work. It is the work of making ourselves feel good and finding those things that feel good. However, if you have a goal and a dream and you're not willing to step up and step into it and really, you know, really just step in and enjoy it and see the journey and experience the journey, then why do you think you're going to enjoy it once you have it? I remember learning, um, when I first started learning Tantra, you know, going like, this is scary. Like, this is scary. This is, and it was scary because it was rattling to me in that it required me to look at things I hadn't looked at. It required me to look at all aspects, the pleasure, the the shadow self, the, there's so many following me, sorry. Um, so many different aspects that had me looking at and it was a little rattling and it was so freaking exciting at the same time. It was so exciting to me to have that rattle, to have that middle, cause that was where the juiciness was. However, if I would have gone like, no, I just want to be a practitioner now. And yes, we have those thoughts. We have that like, oh, like, you know, if I could just get this down now, that would be amazing. That would be great. Like, it's not that you have those thoughts. It's the, that intent of like, no, I really don't want to do the work. Well, then if you don't want to do the fucking work, then you don't want to do the work. Then you don't want it. You don't want it. And you need to look at your rationale for wanting it if you don't want to actually step in. Maybe there's just some, maybe there's some fear that you need to work through. Maybe there's something that you need to step into, but I think sometimes we want the fame and the glory, but we don't want to also do the expansion and the growth. Because just like that baby who is crawl who isn't crawling, you're missing a development. It's gonna your foundation is gonna look like Swiss cheese of any practice, any relationship. We do this in relationships. We wanna hot wire our connection. We don't wanna take the time to really get to know somebody, to explore. We're like four dates in and we're like, okay, like are we gonna be exclusive now? Are we gonna be exclusive? Well, I'm sorry, but you don't you don't know that person. You haven't connected with that person. You can't start getting committed at that point. You can, but again, you're going to build a Swiss cheese foundation. And that goes for any practice. If you want to be a yoga yoga teacher, you have to learn yoga. If you want to be a tantric practitioner, you have to learn tantra and you have to connect with your your energy. If you want a million dollars, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to start doing your your mindset work and get your head in a right place to call that shit in. You can do it. I don't want to be the that person that's telling you you can't have something because I don't believe that. I believe you can have whatever you truly desire. However, I think that there has to be some energy sent out towards it. And sometimes that energy is in actual physical work. Uh, Also, sometimes that energy is money. Because guess what? One of our biggest energies that we use as humans currently is our money. We show what is important to us by our money. I love when people tell me like, oh yeah, like that looks, I really need that program. I like... I have a couple of men right now. I have lots of people in my dating program, but I have my mastermind that's coming up, the four-week mastermind. That is amazing. But I have a couple men who's like, I really need that. I really need that. I really want to grow. I really want to expand. But, you know, I just don't want to put the money towards it. And I'm like, well, you don't want it then. You really just don't want it. It's a low-cost program, so you really don't want to make the change. 
because I'll ask like, okay, well, what else are you doing? Well, not really anything. I mean, I go on dating apps. Like, then you don't actually want to change your dating life if you're not doing anything, if you're not taking any steps, if you're not spending that money because money is energy, baby. Money is a complete energy. We call money in with our energy. We send money out with our energy. It is so beautifully energetic. But kind of back to my point is that we like to, a lot of us want to skip the juicy middle. And the juicy middle is the best part. That It's like that sexy piece. It is that piece that it's fun and you're getting depth and you're really exploring. And we want, want to skip that. And nothing that is worth having is worth skipping that. Like, if you want to skip that, then then you really need to look at your intention and why you want it. Maybe there's fear. I get that. Then then work through that fear. Look at it. You know, explore it. Step freaking through it, um, for lack of a better word. And I know that doesn't sound really compassionate, but at some point you have to just step through it because it's not going to just go away. You're going to have to step through it at some point um, and kind of just, just, I don't want to say, put on your big girl or boy panties if you wear them and step into it. At some point you have to step into it. And we do this in our relationships. We try to just, there's this juicy, beautiful middle piece and it is our expansion and it is our growth and it is our sole purpose. And it is where we actually get aligned with something. At the beginning of something, we don't always know if we're aligned to it. So I'm going to take this yoga example that I've got going right now. But if you are like, I want to be a yoga teacher, but you've never taken a yoga class, so you go to your first few yoga classes, you get in there, you start doing it, and then you're like, actually, I hate yoga. Actually, I hate yoga. I thought I wanted that. I thought that was aligned, but really, I hate yoga. What I liked about it was the meditation. So now I'm going to take this over here, and I'm going to pull in this meditation piece, but really, I hate yoga. That is when you start to get aligned and you start to see what you do enjoy and you don't enjoy. But until you try it, until you get in that middle space, you don't know. You don't know. And you won't be able, you'll be doing it like everybody else is doing it. You won't be able to create it yourself. Same thing with like business. I love when, when people are like, I want this amazing fucking business. And I want them to have this amazing business. Like I want my clients to have, have an amazing business. However... You have to come up with the idea for the business. People will go like, "How did Addison, how did you start your own business? And like, I'm like, I, I, I came up with an idea. And then I, then I took some steps to put it into place, put it into practice. Did I have to work hard? I mean, yes, there are, are lots of times I work hard, but it doesn't feel like working hard. Because if you are doing something that is aligned, if you are doing something that you love, if it is fucking juicy and amazing and sexy in that middle because you love it so much and it truly turns you on then it's not going to feel like work and if you are looking at that middle section and going such work then you're either your mindset needs to change and I mean change big time or it never was aligned and you don't really want it and so why are you pushing on it why are you constantly pushing on it if you really don't want it so you can't skip the middle. And I think we're in this society that's like says, and I think manifestation is beautiful. And I think we, a lot of times as spiritual, you know, teachers and gurus and whatever you want to call them. A lot of people talk about like pulling things in, but there is an energy that also an energy exchange and a, a cycle that needs to happen as well. And there is still expansion that must happen in order to raise our vibration. We must expand our, we must expand as beings. And some of that is actually doing in the, in the physical kind of work. And then our mindset work, especially, especially our mindset work, but you got to dig deep in there. You got to really get into that middle piece. You have to really enjoy it and know that if you skip the middle, what's going to end up happening is you have that Swiss cheese foundation and then you're either going to end up going back and filling 
holes or it's all gonna come crumbling down at some point because you never actually had that good foundation to begin with. You never actually developed the tools you needed. And I wanna make this clear that I'm not saying that you need to have, again, years of education to do something and like really like, like know every single piece of it. That's not what I'm saying. You just have to really immerse yourself in it. You have to get excited about it. You have to step into it. Because if you're not, then you're trying to skip the middle. You're trying to skip that juicy middle. And there's always gonna be pieces in the middle that you wanna skip. But when you do wanna, when you do find yourself going like, like I don't wanna really do that think like is this aligned why don't I want to do it what's kind of coming up in me and there are times when when in the middle you can skip pieces like especially if you're starting a business like if you, there's if you like hate building websites like there are people to to pay for that kind of stuff I mean if you're not if you're trying to skip the actual middle of what you're saying you want to do so if you say I want to build websites and yet you don't want to learn about actual coding or how to turn on a computer even, then you're gonna have a hard time building websites. You're not gonna be able to truly build a good website if you know nothing about it. So that's all I'm saying. Don't skip the juicy middle because it's sexy. It's amazing. It's, it is expansive and even in your relationships, that is the best piece when you are expanding and growing and learning each other. That is so beautiful because at the beginning you have this new relationship energy going. You have even our sex life, you have this new energy and it's amazing, but it's not going to last. And so the real key is when you get into that middle section where you can really play with it, really find that depth. So, so yeah. Well, I'm at my office to go see my lovely, amazing soulmate clients. Um, and then I'm off to my day. And so I will see you guys tomorrow. However, before I get off, I was talking about Tantra earlier. And I have the Tantra 201 workshop coming up. Ne not this coming weekend, but the weekend following. So May 18th. It's an evening workshop with the amazing Kendall Williams and we're going to be talking all about Tantra so please check that out that is on my website uh, addisonbell.net or it's on the calendar or you can just search Tantra 201 on Facebook and it will pop up I promise you um, that is an in-person workshop I also have my four week only sexy men need apply mastermind coming up so please join me it's gonna be hot it's gonna be sexy it's going to be expansive and it's going to move you into a better place to deal with the dating world and answer all those questions that you do have. It's four weeks. We're going to dive deep. We're going to have some fun. Um, so get on the list before, um, before May 15th because otherwise the price is going up once the course is live. So um, other than that, I will see you amazing people uh, tomorrow. Go be some bad asses and rock your day and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.